When a user enters website URL in the browser, it begins to load. User browser sends an HTML page request to the respective publisher web server. Publisher web server receives that request from the browser and replies with an HTML page with a media content file and an ad tag. As the browser loads the web page, media content is delivered and it understands that this page contains only content but no ads in ad spaces. How does browser fill this ad space with an ad? Where does it get those ads from? On the web page, ad tags contains a set of instructions. The browser reads ad tag and identifies each ad in it in the web page. Then sends an ad request which is not directed to the publisher web server this time. Instead, routed to a separate server where ads are stored known as publisher ad server. This ad request passes information that contains HTTP header, IP address, user identifier, ad tags, etc. to the publisher ad server. Inside ad server, there are thousands of advertisements which were already uploaded for various advertisers and campaigns. Now, ad server has to choose only one ad to deliver among thousands of ads matching for the ad request. With ad selection algorithm, by considering various parameters like targeting, price, nine item priority, pacing, frequency capping, day parting, exclusions, etc. Ad server selects a matching ad to serve along with external images or scripts. Ad servers then records the impression for that ad request. If the actual ad is directly uploaded in the publisher ad server, it doesn't make any further calls and it responds to ad request to deliver the selected ad to the ad slot on the web page. Users now see the ads on the website. This whole process takes milliseconds. Publisher ad server is the final source and destination of the ad. In case, if there is no actual ad in the publisher ad server, ad was already trafficked as third-party creative code that acts as a redirect tag. So this time, publisher ad server now responds to ad request with a redirect tag instead of the actual ads. Information in this redirect tag instructs and tells the browser to redirect this ad request to another ad server which is known as third-party ad server. We call these redirects as 302 redirect which tells the browser that page has been temporarily moved. It helps the ad server to record an impression in its database. Then this third-party ad server receives the ad request. By matching ad request details, requirements, targeting options, etc., it selects the best ad. Third-party ad server records the impression. And then, original creative is sent back and delivered to publisher ad inventory. The whole process takes milliseconds and is done automatically without the involvement of people in selecting or serving ads.